this is now the third time that he has finished eating and then been like, well, maybe a little bit more. All right, so here's the fourth time. Is he actually done? It's the fourth time he's covered it up. Is he gonna have another bite? Well, maybe just a little bit more. He is such a funny cat. Yeah, Kep will do this thing sometimes. And he really only does it if the ball is in the middle of the floor. And I'll explain why in a minute. But uh, if the ball's in the middle of the floor, he'll try and like cover it up multiple times. Sometimes he'll do that at his normal feeding station. Especially if it's out here, he'll cover it up, be like, I'm done with this. And then he'll just continue to eat it. Because he is a very silly, silly cat. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, today is a big day that has uh, nothing to do with Kepler, although Kepler is great. Um, today, Chaz and Jeff move here. Um, they're not here yet, but they're on their way. Uh, Brandon flew to Indiana to help them do some of the packing and is riding back with them. Back, well, to, to yeah. here, down to here. Uh, they'll be here this evening. Um, some of you may have seen this coming which is reasonable. Like, if you think back to May of last year when everyone, like, visited Raleigh, Chaz was part of that group. And Chaz was part of the group uh, because Chaz was interested in living here with, you know, the rest of us. So that has finally come to fruition. And I'm excited about it. Brandon has a set of their keys, too, but I went and got the keys. Yeah. And Brandon and I went and toured the place, spoke with the landlord, got the keys from the landlord. Chaz and Jeff signed the lease, of course, but um, this has been in the works for a while. And actually, the funny thing is um, they've never even seen the place in person. Yeah, I videoed it Yeah, they've now, Yeah, actually. they've seen plenty of stuff about it to know, like, oh, okay, this, is, this will work, but they've just never been actually in the home. Um, but yeah, they'll be here tonight, and... Um, I don't know. I, again, we've known about this for so long, but like, I'm very excited about this. And it does mean that the Raleigh Collective is growing from seven to nine. Nine people live and in Raleigh now. Cats. And three more cats. Elspeth, Koth, and Venser are also coming. And I'm sure that that is not a fun car ride for I'm them. I'm sure it's not fun. It's quite a few hours. Um, anyway, uh, we've got other stuff to do today before they get here. We're going to try and do our best to like make their arrival and everything as, as painless as possible and help out in any way we can. So, yeah, we're going to make dinner. Um, yeah. I've put together a box of like paper products, like plates and bowls and some silverware yeah. and like solo cups. Yeah. Um, they're going to use our air mattress because they didn't bring their bed. They didn't keep a lot of their furniture. Um, I don't know. We're going to go over there and like drop off toilet paper in all the bathrooms and soap and stuff. So when they get in tonight, they can just like bring the cats in, bring some stuff in and go to bed. Yeah. Hi. It's done. It is maybe done. We don't know. We it's don't done. care. It's, it's, done. it's 847. We've decided it's done. Yes. <laughs> on to, welcome to Wednesday, uh, December 27th. 2023, we are, we are... Here's what I found. you. <laughs> That'll be a sonic ring noise. Uh, <laughs> we are, we are, we are packed and the house is empty as you can see. And it has been a journey to get here. Oh my God, but we are done. We are about ready to hit the road for Raleigh. Um, and we're gonna, yeah, we're about to join Stephen and friends, literally. <laughs> so yes, the, this this is how long? How long were you here? Fourteen years. And I was here ten, almost to the week. I was so here two days. You were here two days, so. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> you, you, you get you get a you tried star. <laughs> you tried. I, I fell a little short of the record, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll do it better next we, time. We have seen so much in this house. It's, and it has really been, you know, for all the trials and tribulations and trouble it put us through, um, we, we 
and then, yeah, there's a lot of memories here. I won't get into it, but it, it's, it's, it's bittersweet to be leaving. I mean, for me, at least for you, you're just happy to be. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, uh, it, it's, it's very, it, it's tough. It's always tough to make a big change like this. And um, I, I don't know, I, this, is, this is huge. It's the biggest move I've ever done in my entire life. Um, but we know there are good friends on the other side and uh, I think it'll be enormously positive. So yeah, let's, let's, go. let's, let's, let's yeah. go, let's hit the road. from bringing the uh, stuff up but we've brought over a bunch of stuff over to what will be Chaz and Jeff's place hey this is Chaz and Jeff's place anyway don't have time to do a walkthrough they're actually gonna be here pretty soon Mal has been be Mal has been super busy Mal cooked them dinner well all of us dinner and uh, made some uh, butter chicken and uh, we brought over a table and some chairs so they have some stuff till they get things figured out since they didn't really bring a whole lot of furniture and to be honest with how long their day has been they're probably not gonna want to even bring in stuff tonight they're probably gonna be exhausted but they should be here very very soon and then we can help them move some stuff in and eat eat food we got like some soaps and some toilet papers and stuff that we put throughout the house, brought some paper towels, garbage bags, just some other stuff that like you really need to get started. <laughs> so that way they don't have to like go out to a Target or a Walmart and deal with all that. They're just, they can relax. I got enough to just kind of exist for a couple Oh, days. I saw the truck. They're here. Oh, you're here. Oh man, you're here. We're here. Jazz. Hi. Welcome to home. Thanks. Also, how are the cats? Uh, let's get them inside. <laughs> let's get them inside. They're probably very done with this journey. Hey, sweethearts. I haven't seen y'all in a bit. Jeff also made it. Wow, yeah. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you had a chance to like look around a little bit? Yes. Because you, neither of you have ac actually been here yeah, before. Yeah, I've, I've been upstairs. Um, I've been downstairs through the garage and I've been here and it's enormous and empty which will soon be rectified slightly but it, it's promising but the it's bigger promising. the bigger question is are you hungry yes okay well there's yes, we have I'm very much looking forward to welcoming this. committee food yeah I made the butter <laughs> chicken but I put paneer and peas in it also oh. so it's chicken paneer and peas oh. <laughs> thank you You're this is oh. gonna be great thank you Mel I always enjoyed, like, the one aspect of moving that I really liked was seeing the cats interact with a new place because, like, they would just be, like, just very carefully going through mm -hmm. everything. And I, th I thought that was nice. <laughs> he came over to get pet, and then he went and ate. And then that was it. Oh, man. Um, I'm a little... I'm a little worn out. We brought in about half of the moving truck because um, Chaz uh, drove the car down and then Jeff drove the truck down. So we got about half the stuff out of the truck tonight. The other stuff is furniture. So we got basically all the non-furniture stuff because Chaz and Jeff got to figure out like where things are going. They haven't figured that out yet. So once they figure that out, tomorrow morning... <laughs> 
then we'll, um, you know, help them move stuff. But, Mal, you did a great job. Thank you. Because, like, you, I mean, you made food, which is a big deal and a, a huge help. But also, like, you got all the stuff together to, like, stock the house for them in a small way. Yeah. I just did a few little things to help because I knew it would be useful. Thinking about, like... The night we moved into the last house, not this one, the one before. Yeah. And we weren't expecting to stay and being like, oh no, all of our stuff is here. We don't know where, I mean, everything was labeled, but it was like, well, what box is the towels? Okay, this box is not towels. This box is not towels. It was a nightmare. Because we were like, had to stay there. We were too tired to drive back. Yeah. And we were like, well, we don't know where any of our toiletries are, like shampoo. We wanted to shower. So we had to go out and get stuff. Yeah. And it was all a nightmare. I remember that. So that was what I was trying to avoid. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it is helpful. I mean, it is one of the benefits, like, me and you were the first, mm -hmm. right? Like, we were the first people in Raleigh, and we didn't have anyone. So now that Chaz and Jeff are here, like, they're coming at, like, the end of the, the pilgrimage. So a lot, they, you know, there's a lot of hands. And we could get stuff out of the truck very, very quickly as a result. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad they're here. Obviously, very excited, but I'm also super tired. So as time goes on, there will be more fun adventures with the both of them. The but, worst um, of it is over. The worst of it is over. Mm -hmm. yeah. The packing and the driving. That's the worst. It is. Unpacking is not as bad. Moving is traumatic. Yes, it is very traumatic. It's traumatic. Like that's, and that's not hyperbole in any sense of the word. Like that, it is traumatic. It's actual trauma. Um, and it's difficult to do, and it's, it, it scales uh, from a variety of different factors. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that moving as far as they did also makes it super difficult. So it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Hi, bud. We've seen so many kitties on the vlog today. Do you eat something? He said, yeah, it was good, thanks. All right, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Dan, Dan also got back uh, late tonight, and he was exhausted from from driving, but he's back. And uh, Alex and Haley get back. They get back this weekend. I'm just gonna say this weekend because I don't know exactly when. Josh is Josh is gonna be gone for a while. <laughs> I don't know when he's coming back. But um, yeah, Raleigh Collective has grown to nine. Neat. All right, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>